Hello, everybody. This is Chuck Carnival, co-founder of FastGraphs, the fundamentals analyzer software tool. Very recently, there have been several earnings reports coming out, and earnings reports can often have a short-term impact on the price or the stock price of a stock, especially in the short run. One of the sectors that has really been hit hard recently is the healthcare sector, specifically Elevance United Healthcare had earnings announcements, and they were somewhat negative. And these are two really very consistent, favorable companies that have had their stock prices reacting to their earnings announcements. And then there was a positive earnings announcement that came out on Taiwan Semiconductor. So one of the interesting things I thought would be good to share with you all, I asked Professor Nathan Mock to give his input and take on what he thinks about earnings announcements and how they affect stock prices and how to think about it both from a short-term point of view as well as a long-term point of view. So let me turn it over to Nathan and let him talk about United Healthcare, Elevance, and Taiwan Semiconductor, their earnings announcements and the impact they had long and short-term. Nathan? When firms announce their earnings, it gives us a chance to really update the information that we have about the firm. A lot of times you'll see stock prices are really active around these earnings announcements. So sometimes there can be pretty big swings, especially if there's new information. Investors are always updating their information and making their bets accordingly. So it can be interesting to look at those market reactions and to see how the market responds to the news that they get. But ultimately, in the long run, it's going to be fundamentals that drive the value and performance of a stock. And so really, one thing I like to do with earnings reports is to really dig into the fundamentals and see if anything's changed. So especially for a company that you might already be familiar with, it's good to track these earnings announcements, to hear what the company is saying, to see how it matches with what analysts had expected, with what the firm had expected, and to see if there's any trends about growth and risk that really give us any updated ideas on what a fair value could be based on the new information. So I wanna take a look at three different companies that had recent earnings announcements. I'm gonna take the first two together because they're related. So here's a Wall Street Journal headline talking about United Health delivered a beat, but the stock plunge anyway, and here's why. And when you go and look at the actual United Healthcare earnings report and the, the summary of what they had here, you'll see that they had their costs were higher than expected. So they, they report this medical care ratio was 85% compared to 82.3 last year. And so that really measures how much they're having to pay out compared to how much they bring in in premiums. So that's a sign that their expenses went up. And so although United Health ultimately did better than analysts expected, the stock price was down about 9% on the morning of the announcement. And the, the driver was these higher medical costs. So it was considered kind of a quote unquote ugly beat because mainly the reason they beat was related to investment income and lower taxes. Another thing about United Health is they're a huge player in this space. So a lot of times what we see in United Health will spill over into other similar stocks and other companies in the industry because a lot of times things that United Health is seeing, we're going to see show up in other places. And sure enough, the next one I want to look at is Elevance. So Elevance had a miss. So while United beat, Elevance was a miss. But you see this headline says, shares dive after insurer faces unprecedented Medicaid challenge. And again, when you drill into Elevance's results, we'll see something pretty similar as what we saw with United Health. In particular, they call it the benefit expense ratio was 89%. 0.5%. That's an increase of 270 basis points. So it's this unexpected increase in expenses. What they're paying out has gone up unexpectedly. That's what caused the beat. And the market also reacted negatively to this news, just as it did for United Health. Shares were down about 13% midday around the announcement. The further you get away from announcement, usually the thinking is the less the movement necessarily has to do with the announcement. And again, while it's interesting to kind of note how the market reacts, I think the more interesting information here is to really look at the fundamentals. And the fundamentals in this case say expenses are going up unexpectedly and probably likely to continue into the next quarter. So that can alter the way that we maybe think about the estimates for these firms moving forward. And so let's take a look at the fast graphs and see how maybe we can use this uh, information to help us think through these companies. So I want to look at United Health first without the price line on. So you just the dark green, 
that we see down below. This is just the earnings over time. We can see the adjusted earnings growth rate over this full period. Solid earnings, a good looking graph from the perspective of consistent positive earnings, consistent earnings growth, pays a dividend. And so a lot to like there, A plus rating, some recent not great news on the earnings, but still positive earnings and, and growing, just not as good as expected. When we put the price line on, we see that the price line's over the blue and orange lines here. So trading at a, a richer multiple than has historically been the case. So you have some kind of recent headwinds on news about expenses, coupled with a stock price line that is a little bit above the blue line. If we look at the forecasting calculators, we see that the projected growth of about 11%, that gives us maybe a, a 15 multiple moving forward. And so we can take a look at, okay, if they're at that multiple, this is the return. Currently they're trading closer to a 20. So if they were to hold at that multiple, if you thought there was a case for that, this is the type of return you could look at. And so the forecasting calculator as usual is the best way to make a decision. But the, the new information we have is these earnings announcements are, are very new. Analysts will update their information. There's some chance that these earnings might get revised down. We don't know. But just as you make your own decision, independent of whatever analysts say or the firm says, I think you'd want to factor in the fact that expenses are, are higher than they were expecting and possibly likely to continue. That might mean you might want a little bit more of a margin of safety than usual when you see this kind of headwind in, in fundamentals for a firm. Switching to Elevance, again, taking the price line off here, we see a good looking graph in terms of the fundamentals of the earnings here. So the solid earnings growth, about 13% over the period, again, pays a bit of a dividend. 1.47% yield here, but a good looking graph in terms of consistent earnings growth and positive earnings. When we put the price line on Elevance, we see that before the, the recent earnings announcement, the black line very close to the orange line. So price pretty much in line with the fair value ratio and the historical PE of about 14 here. And so again, obviously the market not happy about the, the news about the higher expenses. So the stock price dipped. Let's hop over to the forecasting calculator, just like we did for United Health. Based on the growth of 12% expected here over the next few years, that gives us this 15 multiple. So you can see whereas United Health at a 15 would have had some downside, Elevance would have quite a bit of upside at a 15 multiple. It's traded at a 14, so something like a 13 and a half, a little less than what it's traded, still has quite a bit of, of upside here. So this is really where you have two companies in a similar industry. They have similar factors driving their news and the market reaction. It was kind of bad news for both. Stock price dipped for both. Sometimes people wonder maybe this is a chance to buy when the market's down and there's bad news. The other side could be some people think maybe it could be time to get out, right? If the, you don't like the fundamentals and it's moved against you. And this is really the part where I think valuation plays a big part. These companies might have a similar fundamental change, meaning the news updated our thinking about the fundamental. But compared to United Health, Elevance was trading at a lower multiple coming into this, trading at a lower multiple now. They have kind of similar growth, similar dynamics, but different expected returns, assuming they each hit their numbers and that the multiples kind of remain about what we would expect or in line with, with history. And so I think this is kind of an interesting case of, of two companies that have a similar story in terms of the fundamentals, but in terms of value, a little bit of a different story. And again, I think the real wild card, and you'd have to do some more digging and thinking on this is... We might want to update what we expect in terms of growth based on these expenses and really look into kind of how long term we think this higher expense environment is going to hold for these firms. And that's really where your, your own due diligence comes in and you can see what you think there. So while the two healthcare stocks had bad news, I'm going to switch to TSMC, Taiwan Semiconductor, which had an earnings beat. So a surprise to the, to the good side and overall bullish outlook. And so when we actually look at what Taiwan Semiconductor is reporting here, and we really dig into what it is that they are seeing, their CFO specifically cites, our business in the third quarter was supported by strong smartphone and AI-related demand. 
for their technologies. So this is a smartphone and AI story. And they also say moving in the fourth quarter of 24, they expect our business to continue to be supported by strong demand for their leading technologies. So again, good news here, things went better than expected. They hit a surprise on both revenue and profits, went better than expected, and they give you some guidance of where they think they're going to be moving forward. And certainly the, the market responded, just as the market responded negatively to United Health and Elevance's news, market reacted positively here. So the U.S. listed shares for Taiwan Semiconductor were up about 8% on this initial news. So we'll take a look at the fast graph and see what to make of all of this. Again, for Taiwan Semiconductor, I like to start with a price line off just to get a picture of how the fundamentals look. And this is a company that's had a solid growth over its its history. But if you look at the projections, pretty steep a slope here that we're looking at. So fairly high expectations, which they managed to beat this time. This is one of those cases for stocks that are growing at a little higher clip and expected to grow at a little bit of a higher clip. You know, it's a 34% growth rate expected for, for 24. Black line quite a bit above the blue line. So might give the impression of being quite a bit overvalued. It's really the, the value, of course, is driven by the cash flows and earnings that a business is going to generate, not what they have generated. And this is why the forecasting calculator is so handy, because if we click over to the forecasting calculator, you know, we see that although, again, historically, Taiwan Semiconductor traded about a 19 PE, when we look at kind of the midpoint of this forecasting calculator, it's 24.54, and that's based off of the expected growth rate of earnings. So we're going to have a higher growth rate. And this is kind of the idea that a price to earnings ratio that's roughly equal to the expected growth rate could make sense. So that's where this 24 number comes from. And so if we project out at, at 24, certainly that would be a decline from this 31.7 multiple. So there'd be some multiple contraction involved at this 24, but still potentially some upside which is really, again, driven by the high growth. So this is one of those cases where the multiple is that 31 is higher than what their growth rate should say of 24%. That 31 PE is higher than they've traded at historically. That seems to really point to overvaluation. However, there might still be some upside here because of the strong growth, right? And the growth compounds. So yes, they're growing a high rate this year. They grow at a high rate the next year. And the further you get into the future, the more that compounds. And so you can still see some opportunities in these growth stocks. It's one of the tricky things about valuing growth stocks is that it can be really tough to figure out what an appropriate multiple is based on earnings right now, because earnings are so rapidly changing. And so for these types of firms, it's, I think, especially important to keep track of these earnings announcements and certainly... Taiwan Semiconductor positive here. So again, I think you'd want to look more into this clearly, like with all stocks. But to me, the Taiwan Semiconductor growth story seems to be driven a lot by AI. And so coming up with your own conclusion about what you think that is going to look like as demand for related products related to AI continues to evolve over time. So any new information on that front, you can factor in just like you can factor in these earnings reports. But to me, the big takeaway from looking at earnings reports, again, is to really focus on the fundamentals and not so much the price reaction. Sometimes if the price pops, it goes up. Sometimes we can think that maybe tells us something and we can start trying to extrapolate what the market's thinking. That can be kind of interesting, maybe even useful. But in the long run, it's going to be the fundamentals of growth and risk that drive the value for the firm. And so I try to look at these earnings reports and just to see, is there any new information that changes my opinion about growth and risk? So hopefully that's useful to you as you take a look at companies announcing earnings. All right. Thanks, Nathan. That was excellent. Earnings announcements will often create some crazy short-term movements in stock prices. We see that with Elevance. We see that with United Healthcare. I do want to point out that as Nathan suggested, Focusing on fundamentals ultimately is what's most important, and that's going to be the long term. Now, when these announcements came out, the knee-jerk reaction happens. 
then it really makes sense to pause a little bit and look as deeply as you can. And like Nathan talked about, analysts may be revising their estimates on some of these companies. We don't know that yet, but we'll see. So caution is in order. But I do believe that there are some really excellent investment opportunities in here if you're a long-term investor like I am. Anyway, I want to thank Nathan for that excellent report. If you like this video, please ring the bell, give us a like, subscribe to the channel if you don't already, and take a look at fast graphs. Fast graphs can really keep you grounded when things like provocative things like earnings announcements happen and the market reacts crazily. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you again soon. By the way, I'm going to be doing a video next week on Elevance, looking at it a little deeper than just what happened to the stock price after the announcement and see if there's any changes happening. So I'm going to give it a few days and do a video on it next week. Thanks for watching.